right, I'm going to just try and do a video um, in comparison, comparing uh, this rat pedal, which I know is a USA made, around about 95, with a LM308 chip, compared to this one, which is, uh, it's a bit of an unknown, this one, it's actually, it looks like a rat pedal, but it's actually got uh, the sticker on the back saying that it's a Brat, it says the Brat, and then it's got the serial number, made in the USA. Uh, I have had a look inside of it, and it doesn't see any dates on the pots. The pots are quite a lot smaller than this one. <clears throat> and the information on the chip is, is a little bit hard to read, whereas this one, it's it's quite obvious that it's an, an LM308 chip. Anyway, I'll just give you a bit of a rundown. I'll put everything at 12 o'clock, just to give you a, a, a bit of a idea on just the way these two pedals behave. So we'll start off with the American made. Actually this is our clean sound. I'm playing through a JTM 45. Uh, I'm using a uh, an Aria Pro 2 Les Paul with um, Seymour Duncan Antiquities and we're plugged into a high watt 2x12 cab that's loaded with uh, two 150 watt fan speakers. So here's our clean. Alright, so there's our clean. Here's the American May one.
just turn the filter back up to 12 o'clock and just the distortion down to 9 o'clock. First the uh, USA LM308. setting. Now airing back at 12 o'clock. Starting out with the American. I'll put some uh, gut shots on my web page which will be linked to just under this video so yeah I don't know if you can help me uh, establish if this is actually a brat in a rat pedal or if someone's actually put the wrong sticker and serial number on a rat uh, any help is appreciated thank you